Welcome everyone to a <laughs> ICU cleanup day. <laughs> Needs must. Done, dusted, enough already. Going, going, gone. I have tried, I have pushed, I have treated. I have probably made setup mistakes, but here is what is going into the bin. This time of year, I am not waiting for a spring cleaning. And judging by the candidates, you'll probably understand why. There is no point to wait. This is one of the pieces of my cat Leo Rex. Oh, by the way, if you're here, <laughs> sorry, this is not one of those videos where, yay, look what happened. I can show you what I did right. No, en contraire. This is one of those videos where you can say, well, <laughs> uh, at least I tried, or I never stood a chance, or I hope to have learned my lesson with regards to setups. Let's have a look, see. <clears throat> You might find yourself with a similar theme throughout all these orchids. And I'm going to drop some names here, and this is all Schwerter related, except for two. So my Schwerter collection of 2018 has reduced again significantly. And I have to say, I am in a way so relieved to be done and dusted with this. I'm tired of it. Honestly, if it wasn't for my channel, this would not have happened for this long time, knowing what I got in the mail back in September of 2018. But we can live and learn. I could be surprised, and I was hoping to be surprised, but I'm not. Anyway, let's get on with it. <clears throat> in the bin goes Catlia Rex from Schwerter Orchideen, September 2018. I'm going to be keeping this tag, of course, but everything is going to be sanitized. Catlia Rex, one piece in the bin because, yeah. Now, I got the setup wrong, but I also have to say in my defense that I got some very, very weak seedlings and I've been fighting with one piece ever since that I've got them now. The one piece is still doing okay, but I'm not bringing it out because you will probably see the reason why in the next candidates that are going in the bin. All the scale treatment, all the soaking, everything was not successful. And on top of that, because of the state of the orchids and the fungal issues that I had from day one, I did soak both pieces in copper fungicide. But the copper that I used in this application was according to manufacturer's instructions, so this is not an overdose candidate. Needless to say, look at that again. I am so sick of it. But okay, the state of all these candidates here is worse than they were maybe two weeks ago, but they've been segregated from the rest of my collection for that long, just waiting for me to film. Anyway, Catlia Rex is going in the bin but I am going to keep my media, even though it is just one or two lecker pellets. Still, my hob material I will discard as well as my bottle. All this is garbage now. All right, it's a bit of a breezy day today, so I'm going to try and not have my bin bag blow away. Next up, another Schwerter candidate was a Tolumnia orange bull. I don't have the label for this anymore because, well, no need. I only bought one Tolumnia from Schwerter back in the day, and that was the orange bull. Not very difficult to remember when you have a traumatic order arrive in your collection. So here we are, years and years and years of trying. Well, years and years and years, that was three. Let's make that, no, it's three years. Oh my goodness, even worse. I am justified in throwing this Tolumnia away. It never was vigorous. It never seemed to have any kind of life in it. No matter what I tried, I put it in a basket with lava rock, just like everybody else, and it just didn't want to. So, what a shame, orange bull. Goodbye. But you see, let me show you the difference here. All right, let's move this way. Here's a Tolumnia that I got recently from a Karen Orchids, and that is what I call a healthy orchid. It's blooming, and if it wasn't blooming, it would still be considered healthy. That is something that you can work with. That gives you a chance for letting an orchid survive the stress of transportation and acclimating in your environment. 
this puny stuff of a tulumnia that comes in with one or two weak fans and then tries to grow another fan, it's just not gonna cut it. So, the difference between quality and garbage. Next up, let's not make this too dragged out. If I sound excited, it is in a way because I am so relieved to be done with this. Really, I have, ugh. Anyway, right. Next up, let's look at uh, Brassavola Little Stars. It tried, yes, name and shame. It tried, and then it tried another growth. And well, there was just nothing left. It just collapsed on me. Even while I was trying to save it, then it tried to throw out another growth. Ah, oh, well, you know what? It was nice to try, but honestly, even this orchid should have come much more vigorous into my collection. A little stars should not be a fight. A little stars is vigorous and there should never be issues. <laughs> well, not in my case. So goodbye, little stars. Sorry, we gave it a good run. Next up, here we have Francis Fox. All right. Also, excuse me, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. I'm in that mood. There we go. We tried. All right, now this one had Fusarium. Okay, I'm not gonna blame the nursery for a Fusarium infected orchid. How would they know? But in this case, because the entire order was a debacle, a disaster, and I never heard back from them, I have a little bit bit of an axe to grind with them. So, Fusarium or not, at least these pieces tried with their new growths, and yes, they're still green, but you can see that in the back I have no more energy reserves. Absolutely none. This is not going to go well, even for this growth, which is already starting to desiccate. So while I'm at it, these two pieces of the Richara Francis Fox we tried, we had a good run. There was hope on the horizon with all the pseudobulbs depleted now. Ah, that's about it. We're done. And off into the bin. They go. Ceremoniously. Not really. <laughs> then there's one that makes me very, very sad. Very sad because this one came from the orchid room. It was a test. Yes, it was an experiment. It was the Cygnodes Wine Delight, a cut from the back side of one of her bulbs, a cut. She was propagating the back bulbs. And I had a growth coming, and then I had another growth coming, but there wasn't enough energy from the previous growth, which had depleted the cut pseudobulb, and the subsequent growth didn't make it either. So this is making me very, very sad because it was a present and I couldn't make it work. There is a clear difference between, oh my goodness, I'm so glad to be done with this part of the Schwerter collection compared to this. Yeah, this makes me sad. But you know what? Needs must, there's just no point. We tried and I enjoyed having it. I enjoyed looking forward to getting it to grow on but I was not successful keeping the media and I'm going to sterilize that media and do the whole shebang and the process. But wait, there's more. Now, normally I would say this is a project orchid because that's what it was when it came to the transition of a fowl to lecker and self-watering, which I did. I did successfully because Aurora is still alive. The candidate itself, Nube, did not survive. But Nuba was doing so well. Everything was falling into place. I had roots growing. They were fabulous. I had three leaves on the go. Brilliant. And then suddenly, collapse total. But total. And I'm like, okay. There was no scale. There was nothing wrong that I could identify that my normal symptoms would have alerted me to say, whoa, you did it again. So. Aurora is doing fabulously at this point in time and in spike, and I'm not going to change the transition crack code video of this particular video together with Trisha's Orchid Life because I have cracked the transition code 
and I am not sending out misleading information. For that reason, that video stands. I'm not taking it down because Aurora is my classic example. My recent mistake with Aurora also has nothing to do with my transition method. That was just stupid forgetfulness. So nothing to do with that, but she's still good. Anyway, Phalaenopsis nube, we are saying goodbye. This is ridiculous. I have tried to maintain her. I have tried to see if I would also be successful at a keiki growing but no, no sign of anything. So she will also go into the garbage. I'm keeping the leka, but all the roots in here have deteriorated and all the roots were doing great. Now, yes, she was off a rescue table, but nope, she was doing great and then completely collapsed on me. So if this were spring, yep, I would call it spring cleaning, but it is not. It is time to purge and just admit that there are certain issues, be it they were weak orchids, be it I got the setup wrong, or be it I have no idea what happened here. Either way, the result is the same. Not a nice video, but there is a measure of relief. I tell you, I am so done with trying to save some orchids, especially from an order that never really, really took off for me. And so far, I have to kind of identify the orchids from that order that really are giving me joy. I might need to sit back, look at them and pull them and say, yeah, that one's fine, that one's fine. <laughs> Another video, I guess. <laughs> Meanwhile, I appreciate your time. Sorry that this wasn't more positive, but this is the reality and I feel a lot better somehow. I don't know why. Thank you so very, very much for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day, of course, always on one condition that you stay safe, please. And take care. Bye.